the ball from the dungeon. I don't know if it was under a cavern, up some stairs. Drinking some chromium? What is that? Chromium? Injection. Oh. Drinking chromium? Well, wow. injection. Some kind of sauce. Uh, chromium, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Chromium Special injection. Jersey City sauce. Dick sauce. Word. All right, what's up, everybody? Back for the vault, episode number four. Nothing, you know what I'm saying? We're going to bang this out. We're going to get a little busy today. Yeah. Doing back to back shows of some sort. Well, we're, we're trying to show these motherfuckers some love, bro. You know, what I mean? we missed we missed a few. We missed an episode, you know, because because D Rotten's got to make that paper. So D Rotten missed a Thursday. He fucked it all up. D Rotten upgrading. D Rotten is D Rotten oh, is actually a good boy. man. He he's actually a good man. He he's does some man. humanitarian work in his private life. He does some work with the uh, disabled and. Oh, things yeah. like that. With the know. locals. He's, he's a good man. He's a very good man. Wear it up. <laughs> we got some extra goodies today. Yeah, man. Well, I won't, I'm, I'm not going to put you on the spot. I'm not going to tell you. I don't know if you want to mention any of that. No, no, no. I love Charitable rubbing all, I love rubbing all with the feet. and things that you work with <laughs> for uh, children and children's hospitals and things like that, too, right? Yeah. What cool. was it? Uh, disabled? Something. Yeah. I, he's a good I man. think I'm disabled. <laughs> What are you drinking? Monster? Monster Nagel? Oh, always the monster, bro. I love the magic. This, 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 this is my beer. This is my legal beer. Legal beer. Beer's legal. no good for you. <laughs> no. That's, uh, that's our... Uh... It's bad for your heart, youngster. <laughs> Alright, right. I'm ready future to rock some music. Right and you can drink all you want. You can do whatever you want to tunes. That's what's great about music. Right. What, 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 what are we rocking first here? I got a friend's band. Like all our bands we've been playing is almost friends related. No. So I got a friend's band, she has a label. And this band is called Horse Burner. I'm just starting to learn a lot about them. So right. what I is should it? be listening to them a lot more than I am. What, but kind of, what kind of music is it? She's getting wrecked. This is kind of like a stoner rock thing, man. Heavy like fucking riffage. And it'll all explain itself to you as you listen. Dude. All that songs seem to be like in the five minute range. Bring me that desert fucking music. Oh, now. Bring I need some. it. I need bring it. Bring me them IKEA. This is Swedish a song meatballs. called Replenishment, which we all need. We're all replenishing right now. Right. But dude, dig this, guys. The music speaks for itself. This is brand new too. This has been out this year. I believe this record is kind of spanking. Hear the vault. You gotta see the vault, bro. We got video. Right, we're on video today. We're video, video suckers. Things. What's up? Horse burning. Word. Got a friend Melanie. We go to shows with her. We have a mutual friend Lisa. Lisa's awesome too. Lisa's friend is Melanie. We met her. We go to shows. Word. Into the coolest bands. Dude, they they should be doing a podcast, bro. Oh, they go to mean, dude, they wanna, go to metal fest and they go to everything. You want to get them? We got. I think we gotta get them. And my friend Lisa actually has like a. Skulls and Bacon website, I believe. I mean, the blog that she runs. We, Skulls and Bacon. We will be upgrading, so we will be able to have more people. And plus, we need chicks in here. So these are two really good cool <laughs> chicks that can tell us about 400,000 shows they've been to. And I'm talking about a little bit of everything here and there. Brooklyn, and as long you know, as it's turkey bacon. fests, and dude. Maybe they I got like, some tofu bacon. You can't believe these working. girls have took so much time in hand to do this. We're all vegan. And they work. I'm down, dog. I'm down. Yo. Horse burner. Marjorie. Replenishment. Melanie, this is for you.
That was fucking dope. It was cool, right? That's like I was telling you, bro, when we were off the air, bro. This is like fucking driving through New Mexico desert, going 105 miles per hour music. Dude, I love that. Something about it. It just rips. It was fucking, it was the shit. It dude. doesn't seem as long as it is when you look like, oh, it's long. A little long, but now, nah, man. Nah, dude, I mean, I mean, if you're fucking driving, bro, that would have been like fucking five miles. Ten miles, bro, that song, bro. It's like flying. flying. Yeah, no, it is. It's really good. I'm uh, wishing to hear a lot more from that band. We got something from you next. What we, well, what we, what we got? What we got? We're going to have this Point for Hope. Ah, Point for Hope. These guys are from fucking, nah, uh, these guys are from Newark, man. Badass. You're playing that Legalize song, right? Legalize. Yeah, that goes perfect with what's going to happen in New Jersey when they legalize it. You know, California and fucking... Colorado and Seattle know all about that. Yeah, man. I don't know. I saw one of those cards. Somebody showed me. Somebody in their upper ages. I mean, I mean you know what? I'm, I'm happy they're legalizing it, man, but I hate the fucking, like, the yup yups that fucking, that, that are in Jersey City right now. That They're like, oh, now smoking's fucking cool. No, no. It's not fucking cool. It's it's fucking, it's, it's a lifestyle, yeah, dude. Don't collapse and take away my... You know they're, they're doing it. They're doing it because oh, it's in style. It's not a fucking style. You either smoke you weed or you don't people. smoke weed. That's it. I hate. I'm telling you, I don't care who the fuck sees this fucking podcast. I hate the new fucking people in Jersey City. They fucking ruined my fucking birthland. Now I know how the Native Americans feel when the fucking pilgrims came over. Yeah, yeah. It's like cocksuckers, get out of here, bro. Yeah. I don't know. I don't even pay attention. If you don't pay attention, nothing bothers you. You know? You know what I mean? A little bit? Like, people like... That's how I feel, bro. President say, people like, oh, the president, I'm like, if you don't even pay attention, like, I don't know. That's better. I'm gonna smoke weed every day. And I always do. Yeah, well, I mean, I haven't smoked in a minute, but, you know. That, well. Mine's a little more updated than that, though. Mine's like, almost smokes three quarters of an hour of every hour of every day. <laughs> Something like that. Oh, but man. I'm down. I, I peaked this song a little bit. And, uh, no, yeah, dude, no. this, is, this is fucking some hard rock. They're, they're from Newark. You know, the, um, I saw them. This was from like the early 2000s. This but is I mean, old. It's, it's still fucking, it's still pumped. It's old weight. No, they got things that hold weight. Yeah, things I mean, old I weight. saw them at the Portuguese Fest, bro. I mean, I saw them at a little club, like like a little like diet like a restaurant. They were had a, they rented out the basement, bro. And my boys band Rupture played there, and they had another nice. band called Face. Face was some hardcore punk shit, bro. So yeah, like, yes. you know that was all like Newark fucking Jersey City shit, bro. Was like oh, we went to the show and we were like, I was like, oh shit, we got weed and they're giving us free fucking soda. That's awesome. You know, to me, I was like, well, right. fucking 16 years old, and I'm the like, trifecta. free soda in a ba- in bands? bands. It was Weird. beautiful. And, and, uh, and the yeah, fucking, nice. in a Portuguese restaurant in the basement. Yeah. Those are the best things. It's no. When you're like, going away going, and then you're like, yeah, it turns out to be the best thing. They don't have those no more. No, nah, we all need fests. We all need a pig roast in our basement. Some Dude, and it was good food, too. All meats, all fucking like Portuguese, Brazilian meats, mm. and free soda. I was in heaven. I was but today you had Jersey Mike's. Oh, Jersey Mike's is I was the like, shit. Oh, are we like sponsoring them now? Now since you had one? Fuck Was yeah. it good? Well, you, you know what? I tell, you, I tell you right now, it's better than Blippi and Subway. Okay, way, there you go. Way fucking better way than Blippi and Subway. Cool. I mean, now I know when I want a fucking sandwich, I'm going to Jersey Mike's and Carney. So you're feeling that? Yeah. So totally you know what it's all about now. Yeah. That roast beef's so fresh, you and put on I, anything. I, I, like, never, oh. I never wasn't the bacon on a sandwich until I had it from Jersey Mike's. You know what's funny? You didn't have the mayo. When I watched them, they do the whole roll with mayo, yeah. and then they just bake in the shit out of it. I, I can't and then they go like, I, I then they put it on the... I can't get down with the mayo. But if, they, if they roll the whole shit with some mustard... See, you should have said that. I mean, you like mustard out of yeah, mustard but I, I try to keep it simple. You know? right. I try to, like, Dude, you know. Good sandwich. That was the Club Supreme. That was a number nine we got. You'll see yeah. it up there. Wink at it next time you go to Jersey Mike. No. This is how I feel after I eat a Jersey Mike sandwich. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Not bad or good? Wow. That 
That's how, yeah, I feel. I That's how you feel after you eat a Jersey Mike sandwich. I don't sandwich. know what to say what you just did. I don't know what you just did. I really don't know what you did to... Uh, legalize us, man. Legalize us. Legalizing us. Because that was... That just took me out of my space. with the lost burner and we ran into something 20 years ago and it still sounds like if that band popped up right now it'd still be like holy fucking shit you know if, if they came out right now today point for hope and played fucking legalize it would still be like fucking it would still be fucking popping you know you'd still see motherfucking kids moshing in the fucking pits you know and they'd be like oh shit like motherfucking this band from 20 years ago but they still could kick ass today that's what I'm saying, bro. All the fucking bands that I play for my fucking playlist, bro, even if they don't exist anymore, they still can hold weight and they still can kick ass to this. They could just get together right now and blow the fucking roof off a joint and then fucking walk away for another 20 years. Come back 
and then fucking have another fucking bunch of youngsters there and pit and blow that shit up and then boom, you know? Tell you, bro. Word out, dude. I don't play bullshit, bro. I play fucking popping shit, bro. And what is Android Space? Android Space is fucking. That's some new shit. That's some newest latest shit. That's my boy fucking Syringe, bro. And his boy uh, CR Side. I hope I'm saying it right, man. I don't need to fuck anybody's name up, bro. But this is their shit, man. Fucking Android Space, bro. Straight out of fucking Weehawken, New Jersey, man. If you guys want to fucking catch them, catch them out, you know, whatever. Go, go on fucking Facebook and look up Android Space. Go on iTunes. Go on Spotify. Fucking Bandcamp. Everywhere you can fucking All buy the shit. All that we're putting out there. Just check up on them. You do a little research. Everybody's somewhere. We ain't really gotta tell you that, do we? Do we no, no, but I got no, but you know what? This band's still around though. Android That's cool. Space is still fucking popular. All right, cool. You know that'll work. I, I mean, this is from this is from last year, bro. They only got this album just dropped last year. Retrieve our bones, Dave. Here we go.
soundtrack to it. That's what that uh, dug that. It was like, like, funny like that to me. Oh, dude, that's right. My, my boy fucking syringe, bro. Excellent. It gave me a feeling from old school. Yeah, I love food. it, dude. It's fucking, that song makes me fucking cry every time, bro. Very. I'm tearing right now. I won't turn around to see the camera, but, you know, I'm tearing a little bit. Let's see what sniffling. Sniffles. Uh, I love that fucking song. I love that fucking band, Andrew Space. We're going to play more of that stuff soon. That whole CD rocks. Dave, guess what? What? Psilocybe. Trash Can Kitty. Trash Can Kitty overdosed it. Pop some rocks and coma toast it. Lifeless body ain't going nowhere. It's here to rock that here to stay. Coma toast. Coma toast. Coma toast. Coma toast. His 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 we guitar style, dude. No, his guitar style, bro, out. with the fucking with the delay and shit on the fucking guitar. Um, I when I see them, they oh. don't have the bass player too. That's another thing. If they have a bass player, yeah, yeah. Give him something like from give, give him a bass player like from Mudvayne. Yeah, and have, and have, <laughs> and have fucking and have Marcus fucking play the guitar. Oh, crazy, Kelly shit, dude, killer. Telling you. <laughs> Oh man, dude. Yo, what a fucking long week, bro. Fucking long ass week, man. I'm fucking, I'm really, I really, I hate fucking working. I hate oh, it. dude. I had to work really, I had a 14 hour day last night. Oh. Dude, I'm. Um, People could have tipped more. Fucking, today's Whatever. Saturday, tomorrow's Sunday, I gotta fucking work fucking from 8 to 6. It's not, I'm not even bitching, but you know what, man? I'm like, it just gets annoying standing on your fucking feet all day. Well. When you get out of here, you know what you do? You do like the lazy gents do. You do what you want. <laughs> I'm a 
Rossetti. Fucking Played in an ACDC tribute band. Joe right? motherfucking Burl on fucking saxophone, baby. Yeah, you go. I'm going with another Pearl related band as we shuffle along. Shuffle into Buffalo. This is something by Hoodless. I always dug this song. Hoodless? You got your style. Everybody's got their kind of style. And it's my style. Flavor. 
I got some play. There's some different stuff though coming out, man. This is, you know, dude, when a band kills it, you don't care what language they speak. Oh, the language of music, man. That's all I'm saying. I'm shake this band used to come to Pearl. When? Probably like in 2007. 2008. Well, it was when like, like Pro used to have these dudes come up from like Florida or something Yeah, like these that. were kids that were from here and, and around and they were, one of them is in the Ladrones right now. Okay. Andy, the ba uh, I think Andy plays bass, we used to play guitar in a band. And yeah, they had a couple of horns, Charlie was the singer and his girl played horns. How the hell did they find horn sections? Dude, it's the kids, dude, kids are so musical, you don't believe it when they come in and they bang it shit out. You know how it is. Some people are just so passionate man, about their tunes and the instrument. And you meet horn players too, it's a whole different world. They're like, wow. So when you horn player comes in your office and goes, hey, can I have a minute? Can I go over here? And they get away from the, the, the loudness of the band and go. I never, I never, I never awesome. found a horn player. Horn players, man, they're around. Joe Pearl's a horn player. Yeah. We well, should have know. a horn school here. We just created that. Uh, we, what, is it, what do they call that? Oh, uh, uh, man, my mind just went fucking blank. Yeah, you just fucking stamped that, Joe. I don't know. <laughs> stamped shit. All right, Kofre, man. Yeah, I don't know if they're a band anymore. I think these guys, they, they, they were well, a couple. The well, girl, they, it was one of those couple bands. Ah, uh, you know, so if the couple I break up, then... No, they, I believe they had a kid. Oh, okay. So, That's beautiful. Good thing. So, this is called El Muerto. Ah, El Muerto. <laughs> La policía hizo mucha fechoría El muerto no sabía quién le esperaba la salida No le lloró su familia, no le lloró su pandilla El muerto en vida nunca supo ver lo que tenía Y ahora el muerto, el muerto, ya se acabó este tiempo El muerto, el muerto, ya se acabó su Tiempo y ahora el muerto, el muerto. 
Pretty cool. Well, the last three things, we just kind of flew along here. We just played you some suicide. And we played the Lazy Gents, some Hoodlers, and some Kofer. David, talk to me next. What's going on in the world? Dude, shout out somebody. Yeah, I'm going to shout out two mouthfuls right now, bro. Yo. Seriously, bro, you guys like uh, you guys like podcasts with rock and roll talk and all that good shit, bro. But I think yeah, you guys need to go check out Rat Talk. Rat underscore talk. Podcast on uh, Facebook. Podcast on iTunes. All that good shit, bro. Fucking uh, Rat Rotondo. I think I'm not saying the last name right. I never say last names right, bro. And I'm so sorry. But fucking, yo, Rat. Go check out fucking Rat Talk. Yo, badass. And also, too, this is on the hip-hop fucking... Fucking juggalo death fucking note and shit, bro. Yo, y'all motherfuckers need to go out there and fucking cop the fucking album Scribble. S K. What? S K. R I B B A L. Scribble. S K R I B B A L. Yo, get that shit, bro. It's fucking. Yo. Hold up, man. Let me, let me, let me, let me fucking look at my fucking phone right, right, right quick for one second, please. Boom, 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 boom. Um, I'll tell you, motherfuckers, what fucking song to fucking rock. What song to cop, man? Just give me a minute, bro. Give me a minute, man. Do you think, man? Do you think it's not snowing? It was freezing yesterday. We're getting through it. Oh, Weather-wise, it's killing us. It's killing my whole bones. You need to go out and get the fucking album called Drug Spun Funk. Wow, that's pretty from cool. From Scribble, bro. It's fucking sick. Say dude. that again. Drug Spun Funk. Drug Spun Funk. funk. You get that shit from iTunes, fucking Spotify, Bandcamp, wherever the fuck you want to get it, bro. Get that motherfucking shit, bro. And watch this fucking video on fucking YouTube called Sick Motherfucking World. Well, Sick World, but the way I talk, it's Sick, sick Motherfucking World. Sick Motherfucking World. Yeah. Mind, kid. Yo, really sick, world, that. sick World by fucking Scribble, bro. Go fucking cop that shit. Cop the fucking album, fucking Drug Spun Funk, and fucking watch the video Sick World on YouTube. Maybe we got anybody D. My bad. Do we got anybody lined up for the future podcast? Yo, we got Joe Pearl coming. What is that? Uh, fucking March seventeenth. Nice. That's we right got, around his birthday. Yeah, we got Joe Pearl March seventeenth. A very prominent uh, day. He, he laughed at me. He was like, "Yeah, it's St. Patrick's Day." I was like, oh, "Is that a problem, Joe?" And he's like, yeah. "No, I'll be at work." I was like, "Oh, we'll be there too." So we, that's what we are uh, record the podcast. Uh, that's always that's the anniversary of Randy Rhodes, that dude. I never forget that. I always have that that's March nineteenth, but that always well, it's right around St. Patrick's Day. Big day. My mom's birthday. What else is in March? There's a lot of. Oh, my March birthday's March. in March. You coming up? My birthday's March thirteenth. Big numbers. You know, I got cousins and sisters and nieces and nephews. My father's birthday's at the end of March. Pisces. Oh yeah, dude. Oh fuck, we don't get along, but yeah. <laughs> I'm a cancer. Serious as cancer. Well, we got Mama Luke coming uh, April seventh. Right. And uh, April 28th, we got Josh Wells coming back like we promised. The comedian? We got the comedian awesome. coming back, bro. Josh Wells, bro. Good. Yeah. I want a comedian here. I want a... That's the fucking... Yo, I, I found him and I was like, yo, man. I put him up against the wall and I was like, Josh, please be on this fucking podcast. Nah. That should be good. That would be I, different. That would yeah. be fun. Nah, I just found him. I was like, yo, man. Uh, well, he was at Pearl. Podcast? He did a little number before they did. Oh, he, he, right? yeah, yeah. No, he introduced the Hudson County Scumbags. I remember that. That was a fucking man, dude. What else? I got a couple of people that I want on here. I got my boy Elijah, who's a rapper, and he works with this guy, Frankie Metals. I, I love that fuck. I love anybody with the name Frankie and they have a cool fucking last you know, thing going on. He's Frankie a really Metals. good producer, man. He can play Elijah. I know him since he was 10 years old, this dude, working on music. And I, my friend Miguel, we go up with Jersey City. Oh, fucking, Slash. that was that Jedi. Jedi is Jedi? Something Slash. Like? He might be missing from Facebook for like a week. Oh, he's always on Instagram flacking, uh, fucking uh, getting some nice fucking pictures. He's though. always got good pictures, but he puts a lot out there and, you know, he a lot was, of people get misconstrued on that? Facebook. He's what? on a list, probably, this dude. Oh, for what? For, you know, uh, it's for, we'll have him on and we'll talk about it. Yeah. Because no, I want him and I want Dylan, his friend, they'll grow up, the artist on, I, I need, and I want I need, I need to know this something. rapper just put on here. I'm looking for Black Whale in the back room. We gotta go get them. 
We got to like knock on that door. When we like shut this down, we might be knocking on Black Widow. We got to get Silo Sibe. You know, Silo Sibe in here. Well, right? we'll have his brother, the whole thing that's here. Yeah. I want Johnny and Ralph. Johnny and Ralph have to be a Johnny has to least play guitar. I shouted him out. Or let's be on here and yap us, give us some stories about, you know, hanging out and playing back in the day with Gordon. No. That was a big thing with him. Herb Wiley, Rye Coalition, and the Black Ollies is the dude from Bayonne. Oh, I don't know if you know him. We, we got Rye Coalition, no fucking. At least I know Herb. I can reach out to Herb. I don't know them as. I know them all, but I'm just saying. I would, so, yo, if we get some fucking Rye Coalition. I have a friend of mine that right now is like trying to get vinyl. From him, like, right. dude, I, I'm getting a vinyl collection. I actually gave him some of my records, yeah. and uh, he was like, you know what? I was trying to get like a Black Holly or something. So, I, you know, I'm reaching out. I'm gonna be reaching out. He's gonna get called. Yeah. And my friend Matt. I like to have my friend Matt. Yeah, you, know, yeah, you, you know what though? Uh, he uh, just had a kid though. Uh, well, for um, speaking about fucking um, you just said, oh man, I might want fucking blank again. Not the, black, not the black cow. Ryko? Ryko, my, uh, my, uh, my boy Martin, God rest his soul. He actually, uh, he played drums for them for one tour. Nice. Around, around the United States, bro. He did what a, happened he, to the drummer, uh, Lito? Oh, L- Lito, um, Lito, he had some family issues, I think, or something like that. Or you know, he grew, I grew up, he was, I, I actually, this is the God's honest truth. I believe he's probably six years younger than me, mm-hmm. and I knew his brother Dave. Yeah. And you know we were like Everybody, six or seven. Got, everybody's got a David. We were six or seven. I li- lived in Jersey City and in Country Village. Mm-hmm. And Dave's c- couldn't come out of something, and he came out. I said, "What's up?" He goes, "My mother just had a baby," <laughs> and it was my coalition oh, didn't be born. Shit. Yeah, so we were like six, and I teach plus five this, and I remember that and going, and I swear like the mother with the, the baby in arms when she came. Yeah, did you know how Dave Grohl produced their CD? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think. Actually, one of those Luna Down songs, uh-huh. we, we're going to play it. They they throw a little dig line, like, it's pretty cool. They shout out something about Dave Grohl and the rock. Oh, sure. Yeah, dude, I, I forget what song. It's my bad for not knowing that. Ah. Huff. But it's cool. It's a cool little thing. We'll rock mm-hmm. it. Uh, wait. Uh, means nothing. No, 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 I'm not sure I'm not going to just say that. Nah, That's don't, not stupid. Don't, don't, don't be like me. Cool. I'm the only asshole here who can say, oh, I got a brain for it. I forgot what I said. That's one of those. <laughs> it's a good riff though. Like the, I learned that the, that band, I just you know when you have riffs galore in songs, like I can't catch one right now. Yeah, it's just one. And I love that little banjoing and the stuff you play and all the recycledness of things and you're like, yeah, it's nuts. It's insane. I love it though. I haven't picked up my bass in a little bit. It's got it's a little slow. It's funny how I'm a guitar Dustin player, but now mostly the bands I fucking jam with, I'm, I, I play bass. It's the backup bass player, the yeah. designated bass and player. And I'm like, fuck, man, but I'm like, I'm, like, I'm not as great as on, on guitar as like the guitar players, but I mean, my fucking riffs are some fucking so weird you got shit, some stuff, dude, right. you know? That's like, when playing guitar, you got... It's like, you know, not a lot of people can play like me, man. I got the, a weird style. I can't fucking solo like Randy Rhodes, right. but I mean... I got some. I got some, I got a nice fucking little, well, little punk esque style, like the rhythm of that. Those bands I've seen. Yeah, you know, I mean, I mix a little bit of, a little bit of punk with a little bit of metal with a little bit of fucking stuff. What's Craig Marshall about? Craig Marshall, our uh, next uh, artist. He uh he had a project going. It was called Engineering Des- Engineering Destruction. That's what I see here. Yeah. It's 2014. Engineering Destruction. Yeah, and then fucking uh. This track, what's the track we picked? We're gonna pick Ghost in Blood. Ghost in Blood. This fucking track, dude, right here, bro, has a nice little fucking hidden message. Now, I won't say what the hidden message is, but you guys can kind of pick it up by fucking listening to it, bro. Craig Marshall.
instead of dreaming Do you stay up late with nightmares to be screaming? I need closure, bring me closer I need to touch you one last time Kiss until it's over Can't be going on fucking Facebook, you know. Look, just type up fucking Craig Marshall. You'll find a lot of good shit, bro. Witch Moon, fucking. Uh, well, he's doing a lot of solo stuff now. Witch Moon was the main thing from back in the day. He's doing a lot of solo stuff now. You know, he does punk, ska, rock, everything, bro. This motherfucker has a flavor for your ice cream cone. Nice. Italian. Songwriters and people with tunes and. I love people with fucking a lot of influence. One guy things. Or... I don't mind if it's just one person, dude, because you know what? If they could bring some flavor to the fucking table, I'm down, bro, you know? And I... yeah. no. Well, those people are already going to obviously look for a band. I mean, he's got like, that. My, my boy uh, Robert Scott, he's got that shit too, bro. You know, we'll be playing some of his stuff, you know, soon in the future, Robert Scott. You know, I've been my boy since high school. You know, he does all his he does all his production, drums, fucking everything too, just like Craig Marshall. Like that name, Robert Scott. Yeah, man. He's fucking yeah. badass, dude. Motherfuckers, cool. motherfucker. Uh, he's got it going on, bro. That's I'll just say the Burial Choir. We know many talented people. I'll tell you that. Man, the That's Burial the Choir will be coming town. soon, Mark Bernardo. Dave, who's DRC rugged? Oh man, dude. the Deception EP came from 2003. What? Nah, this was this was me and uh, actually me, Syringe, and uh, Robert Scott. We just got <laughs> fucking high in a studio one day and was like, "Yo, let's let's make up a song." And the track we're gonna play right now is called Dogfight, and it was all based off of uh, Robert Scott's fucking. Uh, Robert Scott made a drum beat. He just recorded a drum beat and was like. Here, make a riff. And I made a riff with the drum while the drum beat was going. Then we was like, yo, here, syringe. Write down some vocals. Bing, bang, boom. Dog fight was born. Well, let's fight it out. DRC rugged. Word, motherfucker. It's years here, kid. 2003. Oh. Fight! 
A couple people. puff puff passes yeah, and like, complete. yo, let's fucking rock. It's I, it's, you know what? I wish Al Bundy was everywhere when I wrote a song with somebody, and all I do is look to the corner and see him go, let's rock. That's it, dude. I'll be like, yeah, it's a fuck up about the tennis building down, bro. Oh man, I get sorry. Let's get excited. That fucking that DRC rugged shit, bro. That to me was the most powerful fucking shit I ever wrote in my life. You know, I mean, I wrote fucking with One Missing. I wrote the Bug Lover album. You know, it's all punk. You know, I fucking... I wrote some stuff with Dark Matter, bro. But fucking, you know... DRC Rugged, bro, was my fucking... <clears throat> like, I'll break the fucking granite on the fucking wall down, you know? You got anything on, like, tape that you, like... You're like, ah, I only have this on tape. No, like I, have stuff I, like I put everything, everything's on I, 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 no, Everything's no. been transposed. I, I transported everything onto my. See, I have computer. I have a demo thing that we did, like a rap thing. It was like, well, it was two hip hop dudes, Jackie, myself. Where it was like a beat rolling, me playing bass to it, and they did something live. It's only on tape. I have to get the transpose of that. There's a couple of those. Dude, I'm I can, like, I got that. I still have that tape. The original idea. I could probably fucking transfer that shit too. Yeah, that's fun, dude. All right. You know what? As the night calls, no. we are at the coming to the end. It's fucking, first. it's murder. Yeah, it's all about murder. I'm looking at the tracks on this. It's funny. It's this murder. MC Random and Jewish Dave. Yo, MC Random and Jewish Dave. I dude, fucking... Are they uh, active rap duo? Yes, dude. They're from fucking Arizona, dude. Wait, Arizona? No. Is it Arizona? Oh, God. It's either Arizona. Why am I calling uh, out to have these dudes on the show? Why do I want to meet a dude named MC Random and Jewish Dave? Tell me that. I think it's Arizona. I'm not. Yes, I'm fucking. I, yo, bad with last names and fucking places, man. But yo, if songs you, in the key of murder. Yo, this is. This like, is on iTunes. This is, this is on fucking Bandcamp. It's on Facebook. This is a 2012 everywhere. release. This is pretty funny. Now that I'm looking Dude. at this, why do I hear like about to be murder? We got a little something in the background. Oh man, we're about to get it. No, it's murder. It's murder everywhere, bro. Just nice. let me, let me, and I can't see the album cover like I want to, but Songs in the Key of Murder is definitely some, you know, it's Stevie Wonder related, and can I just go to a couple of these, Dave? Yes, murder right. for fun, <laughs> must have been murder, no. murder on my mind, no. shut your mouth, or you're probably murdering somebody, that's probably what it says. Murder is reality, it's murder, well, murder ya. Dope. Murder Motel, Bloody Murder, Dope. Murder on the Menu, you can't get any dope. I'll Murder 2, I'll Murder You 2, I'm so dope with this. Murder Me, The Murder Brothers, and then, then the last thing is Outro. They, just it got, they, been, they got murdered. It should have been like Murder Tro or they, something. They like, got I don't know murdered, how they pick up a there. Intro and outro, I would have did something. But they got murdered. That's the only thing I would have changed about this record. This is going to be, dude, I'm going to enjoy this. I'm not making fun of this. This was their fucking shit. Rap is great, dude. Especially when you find something that. Dude, this this is, this is to me, you know what? This is what it's about. You know what people fucking say, bro? This is, to me, this is Juggalo. This is Juggalo music. This is Juggalo music? To me, it's Juggalo music. You rapping about these six shit like that? So if I went to see like Head PE in Arizona, would it like. MC Random and Jewish Day possibly be opening up like the first if, second if, day. If they fucking wanted to, Dude, yes. Are we calling out for that? Let's, let me make my decision They're right making, now. Uh, let me tell you this right now. Hold on. I got an exclusive from Jewish Dave. I spoke to him the other day on fucking Facebook. Oh, cool. They're fucking making a new album. All right. They're making a new album. Know, it's going to be fucking out. murder. It, Dude, they just murdered you. With they murdered you with this whole album, bro. 13 different murder intro track titles. And this is, it's murder. 
Yo. What is it? It's murder? It's murder. M U R D A? No. With an exclamation. Okay. <clears throat> With a smiley face before the exclamation point. No, the dot is a smiley face it's under it. True. Yeah. Exclamation point, of course. And What do you want to do now? To be continued. Stop! <laughs> oh, <laughs> Dope Dave, what is it? It's murder! Straight up, what? Murder! Killing shit because. It's murder! Why? Because it's murder! People dying? It's murder! Yo. That's my fucking boy's Jewish yeah, name, Lipsy right. Random. Murder! That was fucking dope. Bro. That whole album was dope, bro. I'm telling you. It's all murder, though. So. That whole album was fucking dope. But That's cool. it's time we say goodbye. Yeah, I'm just gonna uh, randomly pick a fucking this, track to like... say goodbye to. It's a random track goodbye, bye, bye. Oh. Funny. Here we go. Just, I'm just gonna let this roll in the back, Dave. In three minutes. Uh, this is the lunatics. Now, if you want any of this stuff, you go to Rene Rosa. On Who are they? Rene Rosa, lunatics. This is his band. Yeah, this is his band he was in. Man, you go to fucking. Uh, you find him on Spotify, Bandcamp, Facebook. 
Yeah. Renee Russo. Yeah. You know? I know Renee Russo. That's one of the greatest names in the history of. Come on, that's a good name. Yeah. Very simple. Renee yeah, Russo. Yeah, this is uh, when he was he was he was uh, doing the Lunatics. You know, he's got Evil Adam. You know, he's got his own score music and stuff like that. This you is know? great. This is the fucking. I was shit, gonna dude. pick this tonight, but guess what? We'll talk over it and play it. And then we get a shine right here. This is good. Yeah, this, 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 good. this, this is like this is this is this is a too. snippet, a sneak peek of the lunatics, bro. But now nah, Renee fucking got some crazy shit, bro. We got fucking we got a lot of stuff in there, bro. I'm telling you, man. Yeah, he does, right? Yeah. No, nah, he's a, he's he a, he, come over here he, bullshit. He's a he's a machine, dude. When it comes to music, he's a machine. He needs to come over here. Try, I'm trying to get him on the podcast, you know. I'm trying Just to move, get him. right? He's got a new place. He's getting comfortable. Yeah, I'm trying. Well, you gotta get him in here. I'm trying to get him over here, bro. You know, I'll, if we get him, or maybe we get his fucking band here. You know, who's his band? Uh, he's in a band called uh, Evil Deeds right now. Oh yeah, no, yeah, totally he played play bass in Evil Deeds. That's right. I and like this. Dead dope, dude. I like this. What well, yeah, did this lunatic stuff come out? Oh man, it's good. Very good. I'm not sure, man. Maybe. Dig it. Oof, three years ago, four years ago, something like that. Nice. It's some exclusive. Uh, Non-release shit though. This is first time being heard. Really? You know, but it's not. It's fucking no. We will play. Nice. What else is going on? Wow. As we come to the end of February, we're into March already. We're in like a. Oh, I don't care. What flying else? out like a lamb this you, month. You know you what? Know you, know, you, know, you know. You know what's going on? You know what's going on? What's going on? What's today's date? Today's day is March 3rd, I believe. Yeah, well, 10 more fucking days, my birthday's going on. That's all that matters to me. I think a little announcement, too. I was on Facebook events looking for things and shows to do. I, you know, look for things to do for the next eight months. You okay. go to three things because life sucks. Nah. So I found some event I went to a year or two ago. Uh, May 5th. And I'll never forget the saying the guy said from the stage. And I'll tell you what it's about in a minute when he went. May Day is J Day. It was the march. You march from Washington Square Park okay. to Battery. You could smoke. There's cops. You could walk down the whole thing. Me and my the boy Trev yeah, went. Me and my boy Trev got out the train, walked towards the park. We were like, "Where is it? Where's it?" When we saw it, we just everything just went magnetic pole. They're like, "There it is!" And we marched right. down to you, Battery you know, Park. That's crazy. Got to a stage, and All you right. were allowed to smoke in, we, in, we in, in, in the crazy. area. Were you, were you walking and smoking? Word. Camera crews. Right, right. right. You could be walking and smoking, and there's like Channel Four over there, like and people. Yo, it was, it was awesome. It was like organized chaos, kind of uh, like you know, you have cops walking. You're allowed to smoke. No. You know, you can't go outside the thing, and you're right. walking yeah. down Broadway into yeah. to Battery, and there's dudes on the sides going, "Yo, touches! I got touches with it, like box of touches with like a fifty cal." It was hilarious. That whole thing's going on. There's people when you're in the march, you're good. We were like we let and, and we lit. And we walk. So when you get to Battery Park, there's a stage with a reggae band and stuff that's going to pl nah. play. And some David Peel-like character comes up and goes, All right, everybody, move in a little bit. And you could all smoke within the half circle of the stage, so in the perimeter. Nah. And we hung and got down. People were selling bags a little bit and cotton kind of weed. So we took a little walk around with a hot dog truck right kind of in the perimeter. We walked outside the perimeter. We saw a guy with a J and his kid. And... The cop came and arrested him. And he was like, well, what's going on? He goes, dude, you're outside the perimeter. They told, the, the guy specifically told you, know, hey. so if you're standing there watching a the show, they kind of met, like, you know, and there was yeah. a certain, and he walked in. And Did they lock him up with his kid? Something. They gave him a ticket, oh, or they started, up. you know, giving him, and we were like, dude, let's just go over here. We didn't, we turned in a dime. But yeah, yeah, May 5th is that march that still goes on, and I couldn't yeah, believe I it. I never knew that shit. Yeah. It's like, a, you know. Check your Facebook events for May 5th. It's May yeah. Day is Jay Day. Go March, motherfuckers, and get yeah. out. And it's probably different now. It's got uh, well, different. they're going to legalize it soon, so anybody can just walk around and get high as fuck. I'm home. saying, me and my guy, we went like before 9 11. This is how far ago we went. Because I remember going, like, ah, if they see me on the news, you know, whatever. Shit, you my know, company. Shit, shit wasn't that serious before 9 11. It's, it's getting After 9 11, shit got fucking yeah, it's getting shit. Better. It's getting better. You know? So, I don't know, you check your Facebook events, there's a lot of funny stuff. You're like, what? Oh, this thing? So, yeah. you know, other than J Day. Finding out, like, Jonathan Davis is playing and stuff like that. Man. You, you, you got things where you're like, yo, May Day is J Day, check this yeah, out. I May can't Day. afford a ticket for Jonathan Davis, but I can fucking buy a joint and walk down the block. 
Why don't you take it to Jonathan Davis somewhere? I don't know, man. But I saw Misfits tickets are going from scalpers from like fucking 300 to 700 to 1,000. Yeah. I'm like, dude, come on. It is what it is. Yeah, you're going to miss your band. That's. <laughs> Whatever. You know, I can live without seeing the Misfits, man. I saw Nirvana. I saw The Cure. Oh, God. I saw Lincoln Park. How much time we got left to talk about uh, these bands? How do we get along? How does that happen? The Cure. I heard a Cure song in my lobby. You got that text. Yeah. yeah I think we're, out. we're about out of time right now, man. Well, yeah, probably in Milky Way. So, uh, we will see you guys. We're recording next Thursday. This is actually Saturday. We're recording next Thursday, and it should be up by Friday or Saturday. And... We love you, motherfuckers. Everybody. Motherfuck, fuck, fuck, motherfuck, fuck, 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 motherfuck, fuck, 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 fuck. Yeah, I'm sorry, Miss. I'm sorry, Miss Bernardo. But I just like saying the word fuck. Yeah, you know, there's there's a million people, trillions of people in the world, and this is what you get out of one of them. Some dude just wants to curse a little. Motherfuck, fuck. Who that nails? He likes wrestling and he likes hardcore rap. And occasional chair on somebody's head. And I just say fuck. And he likes to go, damn, shit, fuck. <laughs> Bucky, fuck, fuck. Go. So, All right. Enjoy it. Everybody have a good one. Next week we'll be back. We're actually going to rest for a minute. We gotta. You'll see what we got cooking. You'll see what we got going on. Word. Back to back is a badass fact. A claim that remains intact. You know what's up. John Claridge. You know where we got that? Anybody know where I got that? Let's post. Where did I just get that from? Where are those rhymes from? Peace out, motherfuckers. Good night, everybody.